Sonic the Hedgehog is the blue blur, an icon known by his signature blue color. That is why in today's video, we're going to be finding out how fast can you touch blue in every Sonic game. First is Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, going straight through the first Sonic game, we are going to try to find something or someone that is blue. Ooh, are those bad eggs blue or purple? Let's see. Okay, hold on. I know there's one up here. Can we, can we see another one? Okay. Is that blue or purple? I feel like that's more purple than blue. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I'm going to keep going because I'm trying to find something that's the same shade as Sonic himself. So, um, does this checkpoint count? We're going to count the checkpoint. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. All right, now Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I feel like we're going to have a similar story here unless one of the bad necks themselves have blue in them, which so far they do not. And I'm not going to count this as touching blue because, well, it, it's it's pretty much an aura. So I don't want to count an aura because technically we're not touching. We're not touching that. So we're just going to keep going. And unfortunately, the checkpoints in this game are also not blue. So we're not, we can't count the checkpoints in this game. But we complete the first level without touching blue. All right, now we're in the second level on our quest on finding... Uh, okay, well... That wasn't supposed to happen, but <laughs> we're now on Act 2 of Emerald Hill Zone, and we are going to try to find blue in this. Okay, well, I don't know. Something's telling me that there's not going to be blue in this zone, and if there is, I have missed it because I'm going a little too fast. All right, and we complete the first zone in Sonic 2 without touching the color blue. All right, and here we go. Well, technically, we don't... Do we touch this? Eh, should we count that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, should we count... We have to count something here, right? Because technically, we're not touching the blue. I'm not sure if I can count that or not. Because I was really thinking that we could count something in Chemical Plant. Because, well, there's a lot of blue in this level. But clearly, some blue that we cannot touch. Oh, there's the blue. There's the blue. And we have touched blue. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. All right. Unfortunately, we cannot count the water in the background as touching blue because, well, it's a cutscene and we we never count cutscenes. Unless somehow, some way, we can literally go back all the way to that cutscene. I don't think I can count that. Let's see. We cannot. All right. So, we're going to keep going. And, well, um, well, that's cyan, so I don't think I can count that as blue. Oh, wait, those bad necks are blue. Those bad necks are blue. Hello. Tails, unfortunately, killed the other one. That's gray. Okay, well, yeah, that's definitely blue. And we move on to the next game. Next is Sonic 3D Blast. All right, so let's see if we can... Mm, do, we, do we count this as touching? Do we count this as touching, fellas, fillets? I am not quite sure. From my perspective, I am touching it, but I'm not going to count that just because I don't actually think that Sonic is actually touching that. Oh, he's touching that, though. He's, <coughs> he's touching that, and this life is also blue, so we're just going <coughs> to touch that. Oh, my goodness. Next is Sonic Advance. I apologize for almost dying back there. Now, let's hope we can find blue very early on oh the checkpoints are blue oh i didn't touch the checkpoint right there though okay wait we're gonna land right on it and touch blue next is sonic advance 2 all right now let's hope the checkpoints in this game are also blue for an easy transition to sonic advance 3. oh wait the springs are blue as well oh that spring is definitely blue so we move on to the next game Next is Sonic Advance 3. Alright, well, now we gotta wait in this long-ass cutscene, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a break here. Alright, now... I'm not gonna count Omachao as touching blue because, well, we already said that's Cyan, so there's also that. Wait a minute. That's blue right there. Let's go. Next is Sonic CD. Almost completely forgot about this game, I'm not even gonna lie, but here we are in Sonic CD in all its glory and let's go ahead and find ourselves something blue thank you checkpoint next is sonic adventure now my thing is we can really count touching blue 
Like, like we can count this as touching blue, but I, I think this is more cyan than blue. And, and, and I saw comments before that are like, Oh, but cyan is a version of blue, but we always counted cyan as a different color than blue itself. So there's also that. So I, I don't want to just change the rules all of a sudden and, and make this blue, unless we can just touch the police sirens, which I'm pretty certain we can't. So there's also that. All right, but anyway, we move on to Emerald Coast. All right, same issue here, unless uh, counting... Oh, I don't want to touch that little... Okay, yeah. All right, now we touch blue over here. Next is Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, boy. Okay, we gotta just touch a- okay, there we go, we touched the blue car! Next is Sonic Heroes. Now, I feel like for 3D games in general, it's just gonna be a lot easier to touch blue, well, because... For one, we can quite literally just jump off to the water. And I didn't touch blue right there, but we're gonna touch blue right here. Next is Shadow the Hedgehog. And the first thing we gotta do in Shadow the Hedgehog is wait for this excruciatingly long cutscene. Now, Shadow the Hedgehog is definitely gonna be a game to do this on, because... I can't think of many- ooh, those lasers are kind of blue, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie! Those lasers do look blue, but I doubt we can touch them in the air unless I knew where they were gonna hit beforehand, and unfortunately I have no idea where, where they're even gonna hit, so there's also that. Oh my god, we can touch Sonic. Oh my god, can we touch him? Sonic, come here. I'm about to touch you. Sonic, I'm touching you. Yes! I'm t- wait, no. Sonic, stand right there. Stand still. Yes! I'm touching Sonic! Well, I'm in Sonic- whoa, whoa okay, hold on. This smell box is also blue, right? Whatever, we're touching Sonic. Next is Sonic 06. Now, Sonic 06 shouldn't be difficult at all, as we quite literally start on a level called Wave Ocean. Next is Sonic Unleashed. A lot of words for Sonic Unleashed, and one of those words... is definitely perfect. That's definitely one of them. Honestly, I feel like I could just boost, right? I could just go. I don't think there's gonna be any blue coming up until maybe like a checkpoint or something like that so oh wait i found something blue the springs goodbye next is sonic colors and you may be wondering why i skipped the is this blue can we consider this blue or is that cyan um uh, <laughs> uh, uh um i don't know i don't know if it's blue or not i'm just gonna keep going I don't know if that's gonna make people upset or not. I don't know if it's blue or not, because it looks cyan to me. But to you, it might look blue to me. I don't know, but it's okay, because we're gonna come over here and touch this spring right here. And count that as blue. Next is Sonic 4 Episode 1. Alright, but as I was saying before, the reason I'm not doing storybook games is because, for some reason, well, as you guys know, if you guys have been watching my other videos, my Xbox controller does not work, and I don't know what, what's up with the PlayStation controller not working on half the games I'm playing. Like, I'm literally playing the games that I can use my PlayStation 5 controller on. And the storybook games just happen to not be a game I can play, and I don't think I'm gonna count that yet, because I think I just touched red right there. So we're gonna try that once again, and touch blue. Next is Sonic 4 Episode 2. Alright, let's see... Where the blue is- oh, the blue is once again a spring, and this little thing right here is, is also blue, I guess. Next is Sonic Generations. Alright, a very familiar level that we have done before many, many times. And now we can actually see... Okay, well, no, we can't see. I was- I was trying to see if that- the- the- the flying badnik was the same color as the other one. But it's not, so there's also that. Oh, wait, this one is. That- that's- that's purple. Okay, well, <laughs> that's the answer. That, that- that bad nick from back there was purple. That's good to know. Ooh, that checkpoint was blue, I believe. I'm gonna just- th nah, that checkpoint is definitely blue, so we're just gonna- <laughs> just, we're gonna move on to Lost World. Next is Sonic Lost World. Alright, let's see how easy it is to control on a keyboard. Oh my god, oh my goodness. How do I- how do I do anything on keyboard in this game? God, I wish I could count that body of water right there, but as we said before, that's just cyan. And, oh brother, we are going so slow. What even is the run button? Hello? Is that blue? Uh, it's not blue. Oh, found it! Oh my goodness, thank goodness. We found the run button. That's blue. <laughs> that's blue, I don't care anymore! Next is Sonic Mania. 
Okay, very, very nice. But one thing I do know about this game is that the water in this game is actually blue. At least in the second act, I don't think we're gonna... We're gonna see some blue in this first... Oh, never mind. I forgot about the checkpoints. Fanta I forgot the change. Oh my god, I forgot to start the time. Oh my goodness. All right, ignore the fact that I forgot to change the time. Now we know where to go. And that's straight to a checkpoint. That's fantastic news. Because all we got to do is... Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And then... Uh. Next is Sonic Forces. Alright, hopefully this is just going to be a quick and easy... I don't even have to go to the second level of this game because I do not feel like playing this game at all. Oh, thank goodness, I forgot about the about the springs. Springs are such a savior. Such a savior. Next is Sonic Frontiers. All right, very, very nice. Now, we're in cyberspace. And surely enough, it's gonna be the same thing as always, that a spring is just coincidentally gonna be there to save us. And that one is going to be this one right here because it's got blue in it. Very nice, thank you. Next is Sonic Superstars. All right, surely Sonic Superstars will be a short and easy game to do this on because I'm pretty certain that some of these bad. Okay, that one's purple. Never mind. I thought that one was gonna be. Oh, that one looks blue. Um, what are we thinking, guys? Are we thinking that one was blue or purple? Because well, in every other Sonic game, they're they're pretty much purple, but in this one, he looks a little blue. I'm not quite sure in what to do in that predicament. Ah, oh, but luckily for us, there's this. Very blue ring right there just for us. And last but not least, Shadow Generations. All right, blue, blue, blue. Blue is the color we are looking for. Will we get blue anytime soon? We will see. But as of right now, all I'm seeing is cyan. And that was a spring right there, but I am not sure if I'm gonna count it because I don't think, I, I don't think we touched the, uh, we can touch the head here. Because we only touched the, uh, the, 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 uh, do we count that though? Uh, do we count? Okay, I'm gonna count this one because we can actually see the blue. We can actually see the blue. And with that, here's how fast you can touch blue in every Sonic game. As always, let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content and see you guys next time.